Every car on the road is equipped with shock absorbers to help give the passengers in the car a smooth ride on the road, no matter what the condition. But how do those cylinders work? I'm Ben, this is Physics or Bust. Shock absorbers in a vehicle are part of the suspension in a car, and at minimum they consist of a coil spring and the actual shock absorber itself, and they're connecting the main body of the car, the, the main frame of the car, to the axle where the wheels are attached. The main concept behind a shock absorber is to slow the expansion or contraction of the coil spring any time that the car hits a bump or a rough patch in the road by forcing fluid to go through a constricted area in order to expand or contract the shock absorber. As the shock absorber experiences a compression, some of the energy that is causing the compression is used to increase the pressure in this upper oil chamber, which then forces oil to open the valve on the left and squeeze oil into the lower chamber. Then as the coil spring starts to rebound, the shock absorber experiences an expansion force trying to extend the length of the shock absorber back to its original position, if not even further extended. When this happens, the oil in the upper chamber experiences a drop in pressure as the expansion tries to increase the volume of the upper chamber. Due to the low pressure, the valve on the left closes and the valve on the right opens, which allows oil from the top chamber to flow upward into the upper chamber helping to equalize the pressure between the two chambers while dissipating some of the energy that, with just a coil spring, would have resulted in a rhythmic bouncing motion. So by having that restricted flow, you end up with a much smoother ride because the spring can't just continue to bounce after the car hits a bump in the road. If you're interested in how things work, I think you'd like this book by David McAuley. I have an affiliate link in the description below. I do get a small commission, but it doesn't cost you any extra. Hope you had fun with that one. I know I did. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and remember, keep asking questions. I'll see you on the next video.